Welcome to Smart Science. Easy Science Experiment for Everyone Traveling Flame Trick This fire trick is based on how candles work. When you light a candle, the heat from the flame vaporizes the candle wax. When you blow the candle out, vaporized wax briefly remains in the air. If you apply a heat source quickly enough, you can ignite the wax and use that reaction to relight the wick of the candle. Although it looks like you're lighting the candle with smoke, it's really just the wax vapor that ignites. Soot and other debris from the flame aren't ignited. Sulfuric Acid and Sugar Reactions One of the most spectacular chemistry demonstrations is also one of the simplest. It's the dehydration of sugar, sucrose, with sulfuric acid. Basically, all you do to perform this demonstration is put ordinary table sugar in a glass beaker and stir in some concentrated sulfuric acid. You can dampen the sugar with a small volume of water before adding the sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid removes water from the sugar in a highly exothermic reaction, releasing heat, steam, and sulfur oxide fumes. Aside from the sulfurous odor, the reaction smells a lot like caramel. The white sugar turns into a black carbonized tube that pushes itself out of the beaker. Fire Snake A fire snake, also referred to as a black snake or sugar snake, is a classic science experiment you can do right in your own kitchen using a baking soda and sugar mixture and a fuel to ignite the reaction. When the baking soda gets hot, it makes carbon dioxide gas. The pressure from this gas pushes the carbonate from the burning sugar out, producing the snake reminiscent of popular intumescent fireworks. Coca-Cola and Chlorine Reaction Chemical Summary This is what really happens when you mix Coca-Cola and pool chlorine. There is just a small amount of phosphoric acid in coke. Sounds disgusting right? Well that is actually a reactant in this reaction. The phosphoric acid reacts with the pool chlorine, which also known as calcium hypochlorite. The product of this reaction is chlorine gas, which happens to be extremely dangerous. This is what happens when you mix coke and pool chlorine. Relevant Chemistry Concept When the coke and chlorine are mixed they create an exothermic reaction. This means when the reaction occurs heat is released. This is clearly demonstrated in the experiment because hot steam is a product of the reaction, along with chlorine gas. Elephant Toothpaste You probably saw lots of bubbles and foam in this activity. What makes the foam appear? When the hydrogen peroxide comes into contact with the yeast it starts breaking down into water and oxygen. Oxygen is a gas and therefore wants to escape the liquid. The dish soap that you added to your reaction, however, traps these gas bubbles, forming a foam. The reaction continues as long as there is some hydrogen peroxide and yeast left. Once one of them runs out it stops making new foam. If you tried the activity without dish soap, the reaction probably will still made bubbles, but not foam. Floating Egg
the egg is denser than the fresh water, more molecules per inch too, this causes it to sink. When you start dissolving salt in the water, this is increasing the density, adding more molecules per inch too. Eventually the water becomes denser than the egg causing the egg to float. When you carefully add fresh water again, this fresh water is less dense than the salt water so it floats right on top. Glowing Bouncing Egg When we left the egg in vinegar, the acetic acid in the vinegar broke down the calcium carbonate shell, producing the tiny carbon dioxide gas bubbles we saw. Once the egg shell dissolved, the egg expanded slightly because the membrane was semi-permeable. That means it allows some things to pass through it, through a process called osmosis. Some of the water with the highlighter ink passed through the membrane into the egg and caused it to swell and glow. Keeping paper dry in water. Air takes up space and when you submerge the glass in the water the air becomes trapped by the water pressing up from below, and the glass on all other sides. Air is lighter than water so it needs to stay on top of the water. As long as the air can't escape, water can't get in and your paper stays dry. As soon as you provide a way for the air to escape by tipping the glass and letting those air bubbles escape, then water rushes in and takes the place of the air and your paper gets wet. Lava Lamp To begin, the oil stays above the water because the oil is lighter than the water or, more specifically, less dense than water. The oil and water do not mix because of something called intermolecular polarity. That term is fun to bring up in dinner conversation. Molecular polarity basically means that water molecules are attracted to other water molecules. They get along fine, and can loosely bond together, drops, this is similar to magnets that are attracted to each other. Oil molecules are attracted to other oil molecules, they get along fine as well. But the structures of the two molecules do not allow them to bond together. Of course, there's a lot more fancy scientific language to describe density and molecular polarity, but maybe now you'll at least look at that vinaigrette salad dressing in a whole new way. When you added the tablet piece, it sank to the bottom and started dissolving and creating a gas. As the gas bubbles rose, they took some of the color and water with them. When the blob of water reached the top, the gas escaped and down went the water. Cool, huh? By the way, you can store your blobs in a bottle with the cap on, 
and then anytime you want to bring it back to life, just add another tablet piece. Tower of 13 Liquids A substance's density indicates how much mass is contained in a unit of volume. A less dense liquid will float above one that is denser. This makes it possible to arrange the layers from bottom to top in order of decreasing density. Some of the layers will diffuse together with time, but this happens rather slowly, so you'll first be able to observe clear boundaries between the layers. If you drop an object into such a layered tower, it will come to rest at the first liquid with a density greater than or equal to the density of the material the object is made of.